Christian, first win of pre-season and in extremely humid conditions today. Yeah, it was a challenging one, wasn't it? On my way here today, I think it was 40 degrees, the car therm thermometer was saying, and, and it didn't really cool off until about 8 o'clock, did it? So it's been a warm, warm day. Um, but the boys conducted themselves really, really well. Um, took on the information onwards of Saturday because that was another hot day um, and performed really, really well. So we're really pleased. No, no illnesses, no injury, injuries today. So, um, yeah, we're happy on our side. Yeah, the lads seem to kind of not make it a difference for them from minute one. They were, they seemed to get into their flow quite easily and, you know, Barnet potentially didn't get into it as well as Dartford and, you know, the results showed in the end. I think they just conducted themselves really professionally and they come out with intensity and they managed to get hold of the ball and, and string good passes together. We've got great, great players in the middle of the park that can conduct play, Murta, uh, Samir, they can, they can really sort of take hold of a, of a game and uh, make it difficult for opponents and I think we made it difficult for Barnet today. Um, and then we were, we were able to sustain it and, and show a little bit of quality in the final third, which we were lacking in the first half. Um, so it was really nice to see. Hmm. A second clean sheet as well. You've got to be happy with that going into you know, a few yeah, more games. Definitely, the boys are keeping the standard. I mean, it, we have Cholton, a, an established outfit. We go Millwall, um, they bring their first team down and, and really test us. Um, and then Bromley and Barnets is, is who we're, we're aspiring to be at that level. So um, it's good to show a good account of, of keeping those consistent clean sheets and, and having a pride in it and a togetherness. That's something that we've really tried to to put through the squad and take ownership and accountability in both boxes. Um, we obviously didn't show accountability in the offensive third on Saturday, but we've managed to do that this evening. Um, and defensively, we've showed some consistency and, and we're really pleased and, and the boys are, are happy. It's, it's, it's enjoyable when it's 30 plus degrees, but you've got a, a clean sheet to protect and you've got uh, goals to score in order to get your, your three points and your victory. Academy lad, Marvin Herschel, who's just signed a new contract. How did Jim make of his performance? You know, he's coming into the first team for the first time, but he held his own well. Do you know, it's brilliant. We're obviously new to the club, so we're getting to know like the academy and, and the transition from academy to first team. And, and Gaff has got a massive record of, of taking young uns from nowhere to first team football and then and then moving them on to, to higher levels. So he really, really takes um, takes a lot from the young uns. And it's for us to, to get to know them. He had the opportunity to come in, sort of Tony Burnham put him in front of us and said that he's, he's one to have a look at. And he's just done well week on week. He deserves all the plaudits, he deserves his contract. And his performance today was outstanding. You know, he, he, the systems, we still haven't, haven't particularly worked too hard on, on, on systems and that sort of thing. And, and he was brilliant. So first half he went played as a winger and then he went up front second half and, and he showed great versatility and he's just got great attributes. He's an athlete, he knows how to score, he puts himself about, he's not intimidated and these are all huge qualities for a youngster. So we're really excited for him and, and we hope he's enjoyed this evening. Yeah, and talking about position changes, we've seen a few maybe players that don't play in their normal positions playing the last few games. Christian playing in maybe a further forward role, Sam potentially playing further back. Can you tell us a bit about why you put him there and what you're thinking? It's, it's for us to get to know the players. So we need to be able to adapt in situations, you know, game days, things happen that, that you don't quite plan for and we need to have the versatility on the pitch to know how we conduct our bench and how we conduct a team on the, in the starting lineup. So by having a good look at other players and, and showing how versatile they are at going forwards and that sort of thing, it means that it helps. And now we're joined by some rain, yeah. it's quite refreshing. So. <laughs> I'm happy to keep on going. Yeah. Um, last question while the rain does suddenly pour. Um, now four games in pre-season, what have you as the coaching staff learned from these four games? We've learned we've got a great, great squad of players, um, which is fantastic. They've um, got good attitudes, they're willing to, to listen, to learn and to execute what we ask of them on the pitch, which is always a fantastic start. And um, we've got a great, great, great club to, that have supported us and, and we're really excited to try and deliver come the league campaign.